go back to our earlier story where President Ekufuado is expected to issue a constitutional instrument to give effect to the creation of the regions and capitals on Tuesday, February 12. The capitals of the newly created regions are also to be named on that day. The results of the referendum which created the new regions have been gazetted by the Electoral Commission and the president issuing the CI will be the final act to fulfill to be performed for the full creation and inauguration of the new regions. The names of some towns have been banded around, especially in the media, as front runners to be named as the capitals of the new regions. But the president will put the issue to rest when he makes the announcement next week. Some chiefs and opinion leaders are in the forefront for the selection of their favorite towns as the capitals. However, the OT movement, a group of chiefs and opinion leaders in the northern part of the Volta region who submitted the petition that led to the creation of the region, has indicated its readiness to accept any town chosen as the regional capital. But Jasikan, KJB and Ketekrachi are strong contenders. For the northeast region, Na Mahami Sherega has made a strong case for Nalirigu to be made the capital, indicating that the town was strategically located at the center of the new region and that it would be convenient for all the people in the region to assess it. But Nalirigu will be facing stiff competition from Waliwale, which has also been mentioned as a strong contender. For the Savannah region, the overlord of the Gonja traditional area, Yagbonwura Suleiman Najakpa, Tuntumba the first said Damongo was best suited as the regional capital, despite the different views being expressed. Coming strongly from another end is Bole, which also represents a strong argument for selection as the regional capital. Salaga is also in contention. Some of the notable towns that have come up as strong contenders for the capital of the Ahaf region are Guaso, Mim, Duayao Nkwanta, Bichim, Shidim, and Kenyase. There's also strong competition among the towns in the Bono East region for the capital with Techiman and Atebubu being the major contenders. The people of Kintampo, a town said to be in the center of the country, are also asking the government to consider it as the capital of the Bono East region. In the western north region, Bibieni, Sefiwioso and Sefibekwai are in contention for the capital. And even before the February 12 date, there has been intense lobbying by some chiefs, opinion leaders and residents. Let's take a look at some suggested capital towns. And let's begin from the northeast region. And two towns are in contention. We have Nalerugu as well as Walewale. Early on, the paramount chief of Mampugu made a case for Nalerugu saying that most of the chiefs live over there. So that town should be made the capital of the northeast region as well as saying it will bring about development and the creation of jobs for the youth because there is investment potential in limestone, there's vast land for agricultural purposes as well as tourism. In the north, in the Hafa region as well, we have some towns in contention, Braya Nkwanta, Mim, Bechim, as well as Kenya. Say, um, that in Techiman, um, that will be for the western Western North region, the towns in contention are Sishu Bekwai and Bibieni. In the Ahafu region, we have Gos, So Shidim, Mim, Bechim, Dwaya Winkwanta, as well as Kenyase. In the Oti region, three towns are in contention. We have Ketekrachi, Kajebi, as well as Jasikan. And then in the Savannah region, some towns are in contention. We have Bole. Damongo as well as Salaga. In the northern, western north region, residents are already lobbying and those in supporting Bibiania claim the town is the center of the new region and would be easily accessible to all people in western north. And those making a case for Seshu also are saying the municipality has infrastructure to host the regional capital. So those are the towns in contention. We will wait for February 12 when President Ekufado will announce the towns for these regions and we will be talking to Dr. Mohamed Asahi he is a development analyst on this. Good afternoon sir and thanks for joining us. Dr. Mohamed Asahi, good afternoon. Good afternoon Manchester. First of all what should go into choosing these capitals? Okay. Hello. Hello, Doc. I was asking what should go into choosing these capitals. Okay. 
Yeah, I can hear you. I'm just trying to get to a position where we oh, okay. get a clearer, clearer, clearer network. So, Doc, ahead of the yeah. February 12 date, that President Ekufuado is expected to announce the towns of the newly created regions. What should go into choosing these capitals? Okay, so the, 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 you are talking about the considerations for the new capital. The exactly. Capital for the new region. Okay, yeah. So, um, I think this issue, I've talked about it a number of times, but we need to, first of all, understand the administrative rules of all the regions. The local government system has made it very clear that the various regions, particularly the regional coordinating councils, <coughs> Can you hear me? Yes, Doc. Yeah, I'm getting some bad feedback. Hello? Do carry on, Doc. Yeah. Yeah, please, can, you, can you ask them to reconnect and just call me back again? I'm getting some feedback. I suspect me. All right. You still watching Midday yeah. Live from the news app. What do you think about the creation of the new regions and the 